It's not running too hot. We're taking it easy on her. It says check ABS. We got overheating and we got check engine lights. We are broken down currently in the Everglades. Here's an alligator. Literally right there. <laughs> So All right, we're trying something crazy. We're just gonna show up to the headquarters, meet the door. Miami Airport. Where are we going? Oh, Carmen Diana. We are not working in the office because of COVID-19. Hold on, somebody's calling me. Let me call you right back. Hello? That was super easy. So the head marketing guy is working from home right now. But Perfect. I got his personal cell phone number. He's waiting for your phone call right now. Yeah! Let's go! Yesterday we were stranded in the Everglades and today we're in the snow. We came to Elkhart, Indiana. This is where Thor is headquartered and we're coming to get an RV. Steve, what's up? This is Charlie Rocket. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Man, I'm on a winning streak, Steve. Man, so we flew in. We love Thor, so we flew in from the Everglades last night, and we are in Elkhart, man. We want to meet with you, man. You know what? No fun. Nobody is working in the office. That's okay. We'll come stand in your front yard. <laughs> I present from across the street. I got a million-dollar marketing plan for you, man. We're we're marketers. We get millions of views a day. We help people every day in our dream machine. And man, we came to Elkhart because we needed to talk to the right person. I understand your excitement and your willingness to work with us, but showing up, you know, during a pandemic unannounced, is, you know, we get dozens and dozens of these a day for people who want to do stuff with us from people who. But how many people fly and show up and show you this excitement that we got? Just, I mean, while I got you on the phone, run your, run your proposal by me. And what, what are you guys looking for? What do you want to do? So what we're looking for is to really be a philanthropic arm of Thor. We do good deeds every single day. We go across the country. We make people's dreams come true. When COVID hit, I sold my house and I moved into my dream machine and I've dedicated my entire life to helping people during this time and we've helped over a thousand families we've given away you know close to a million dollars and we use an rv to do that so when i look at thor like y'all are the big dogs we wanted to find a partner because we have so many things that we have to offer on the marketing side and we're like you know what i think thor could be a great partner and we do all the heavy lifting and we do all the give backs and we we raise a lot of money because we're a foundation we have a vision that we're not just going to have one dream machine one day we're going to have hundreds of dream machines and we love you guys that's why we came here and that is awesome and i would love to have your proposal formally submitted i'm gonna send you a video right now watch that and give me a call back so you can get a taste of what we do yeah send uh, go ahead and you can send it to my email okay i just shot it to you okay i'll look for them and then we'll just we'll, we'll take it from there okay charlie all right thank you bro awesome. thank you very much uh, all bye. right bye it's kind of like one of those things like when you're a rocket ship right before you take off like that gravity will try to hold you down but you gotta fight through the gravity to get to outer space where to next chuck all right we're going to go to the airbnb we're going to fire off some emails set up our oval office Right, let's get some food. <laughs> we, we ate two, two nice. bags of A few moments later. You gotta tell people what's going on, man. There was a, uh, a basketball player. He goes by the name of Dikembe Mutombo. We got Mutombo today in Elkhart. We go to Thor. Mutombo! <laughs> we got to the one Airbnb that exists in Elkhart. <clears throat> pubic hair in the bed. Look at this hair. Are you serious? Yeah. Like this is a pubic hair. Ew. There's these stains on the sheets. Water smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Matombo. <laughs>
<laughs> right in the middle. Sorry, lay on it. Lay on it. I want to see what it's like. What is this? Just screams? Not in my house. Let me take a trip. Oh, yeah. I'll sleep in here. So, guess where we're headed? Right back to Chicago. First stop is Taco Bell. Barry just threw her gum out the window. That is a crime. Katie Young. <laughs> oh, yes, look with at the, that. The, the boys and girl. I was almost like, oh, you're in Temple? I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, they sent it to the CEO at Camping World. Yo. That's big time. Oh, that's big time. Come, come, come. Hi, everybody. I'm Marcus Slimonis. I'm the chairman and CEO of Camping World. My job is to make sure you see America for less. It's a Friday night at midnight, and we're having corporate conversations. That's how you know we're moving the needle, guys. So Marcus just emailed me. <laughs> I mean, he DM'd me back, right? He said, email me, Marcus at Camping World. Y'all wanna send Marcus an email? Yeah! Boy, a lot of people be doing business at 12 o'clock at night, I say, it's like your boy, y'all. From last night? All right, about to send this to Marcus. Whoosh. Send. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. We got the Marcus, guys. <laughs> he said, let's figure something out. Machine. I sold my home to dedicate my life to this this tour. Oh Barry, we will not underestimate you ever again. Keep asking those silly questions. Did he respond? Yeah, we're like it's been two minutes, and then he responded. We got a thermometer here. Our goal is $300,000. We raised over $700,000 and gave it all away during Christmas. This is the worst feeling. It's not that bad. <laughs> Girls do it to me every time. Okay, Joel, this is what we got set up. Um, we, so far, we're at $7,000 and our goal is $300,000. And now we're back on E, but that's what foundations and nonprofits do. They raise money. So our goal was to do it in the next 48 hours. So uh, you were the first person I called. Connecting. Connect. Connecting. Ooh, okay. Boy, Sunday morning with family men might not be the best day to be called. <laughs> I thought about that, though. It'll be all, all right. right. We'll Let's keep, keep cooking. Yeah. Keep cooking. <laughs> might be 15 people who call back. Are you going to recognize me, bro? Okay, no we're 0 for 9. Nobody's answering on a Sunday. What can we do with Marcus right now? Are we still just waiting on him to... We could also just cook some lunch real quick and wait for one of these 10 to... If nobody calls back, we know today's a rough day for that, or it might just be the morning time. But maybe once a couple people start calling back, we see, okay, now people's schedules are open up, then we start calling people. <laughs> Cooking mid fundraising. Man of many, not quite talents. <laughs> not quite talents. We won't go that far and call it talent. Joe Marion just takes me tax deductible. Yes. 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 Nonprofit five hundred one c three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're our very first one, the first person I called, man. Thank you so much. Andy, 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 Andy. What's up, bro? You said what's up to Charlie Rocket? Ooh, what's up, man? What can I put you down for? Are you a Hall of Famer at $1,000? <laughs> Are you a GOAT at 5000 
Or are you a superhero like Joe Marion at $10,000? <laughs> I'm a goat. I got you. You're out! Oh! Oh! We gotta, we gotta get the dream machine back rolling. What can I put you down for? At least a G. At least a G! We are now at 17,000. All right, Aaron, Aaron, I might have to fart. Oh, me too. Don't do it in the middle of the Same time, I just did it. Sorry. <laughs> Came out. It's not gonna smell, don't worry. You know, you know when it's gonna smell. Come on, big dog. Ah, voice. Look, we, we tried the same thing last time. He didn't respond. Uh, we're doing it again. Dave Portnoy is known to millions as El Presidente. Not the president of a country, but instead of a mindset, he is founder of Barstool Sports. Shit, we're emailing press right now. Portnoy at barstoolsports.com. Damn. Dave, what's up, man? Uh, we got a mutual friend with Mike and, uh, and Connor. But man, I know a lot's coming your way right now. No pressure at all. But our goal is to be rolling by the, this time next week. Hold on, this is crazy. Hold on, let me call you right back. I'm getting a crazy phone call right now. Connor! Charlie, Charlie. What? Charlie, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Hey, uh, how's it going? Oh my god. What? Oh my god, oh my god. Connor, let me sit down. Oh my god, Dave is paying for a new bus. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm shaking. Oh my god. I'm shaking. <laughs> You're shaking. So he told you he's getting us a new bus? Yeah, I think he's gonna help. <laughs> oh my god. He wouldn't have messaged you. No. I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, who said it? Who said it? Oh, Dave. Dave. Oh my press, god. Press, press, press. Here we go. Oh god. Okay. How much is a bus? My main concern would be it doesn't necessarily fall into what we are raising money for. Also, if if you've raised so much money, why don't you just dip into that and pay for it? Sorry for the questions, but anything we give money to, we have to have a clear reason. Yeah. These are great questions. Absolutely. Okay. questions. I'm going to end it with, we'd love to have you keep the dream machine alive, and we create so many films and content showing people how we are carrying on your mission. I'm sending it. Honestly, he would not have said anything to Connor if he wasn't seriously considered. No. I would never message one of my friends' as friends because no. I know it's immediately, it was not going to take two seconds. Wait, why would he even send that text? Like, right? That. There would be no point. No, God! Please, no! 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 Roll it! Come on, guys, we gotta get up out of here. Roll it! Langford. I'm uh, done. And <laughs> so so nice. You're a beard. Let's get up out of here. So what do you think? On a scale of one to, to, to Langford's cooking, how successful was Chicago? <laughs> Langford's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dating both of them? Aww. <laughs> Langford's dating every girl. <laughs> Y'all look so adorable. Are you, Are you serious? Yeah. Because of one f***ing pound. I told her. I said, no, nah, I can't take anything out. No, keep going. Get up here. Yeah. There you go. Keep going for sure. It went up four pounds. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, we just made it to Miami. Miami! We just made it, guys. All right, what are we here to do? Hang out with... <coughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are we here to do? Gotta go find Dream Machine. We gotta go save the Dream Machine. Get it towed. You good, big dog? Man, I'm What you got going on over here? <laughs> Bag full of camera gear and a smile on my face you can't see. Oh yeah. man. So done uh -huh. with the snow. Camping World just emailed me back. Said they passed. So we're gonna have to fundraise.